Hey guys, so welcome to another YouTube video. My name is Joe, and in this video, as usual, I'm just going to be making relevant commentary over um this timeline video I did. I recorded myself um recreating this monument located here in Lagos, Nigeria. And it's something that virtually every Lagosian knows. And it's um, really a huge building, something that holds a lot of value and cultural heritage to us as Nigerians, right? So um, in putting this together, I actually, I practiced like twice. I tried to model it like twice, just so that when I was recording myself, I, I, would, I would know what I'm doing. I wouldn't try to figure it out while recording, right? So what I'm doing right now, I'm really trying to block out the entire structure. Um, I started learning how to block out stuff while um, watching, I think, a couple of Sweeper 3Ds tutorials. So I, I, from there, I just figured out, okay, I think in order to make it easier, I really need to just block out the overall structure first and then start detailing later, right? So like for this building, I know that whenever I pass around CMS, Marina area, I, I kind of see the building, but I never really pay so much attention to it. I know that it's it's a monument here in Lagos, but I never really pay so much attention like that. But like for this, I was on my way to an interview on the island one day, and I realized that, yo, I, I really need to look at this building and figure out the scale and just know what, you know, myself compared to the building is going to look like right so um i think one day i was going for an interview sometimes last two weeks and i i passed by this building so just looking at it i knew that my head would reach a certain point and with that i can just start to measure the entire building there was no blueprint anywhere for this so all i was working with was my image references by the bottom left and just what I saw, right? So I just had to estimate a lot of these things. So right here, what I'm doing right now, I am, I'm creating, the, there are some embellishments in the building, like a bevel profile. I, I, I wanted to like, you know, create the bevel and then there's a place you can create custom profile here in Blender. I wanted to do that, but I couldn't figure it out. So I just um, modeled the profile myself and then just did that right here i'm creating the window release just those guards and i'm duplicating in this modeling um in this um, time lapse i'm doing a lot of um duplication a lot of shift d a lot of all d going on there's a lot of bullion also going on so i used a lot of hard ups i used a lot of um box cutter um all those mirror modifiers a lot of that is going on in this um time lapse so right here i'm still using the same profile that i created but just really duplicating those around and if you notice my reference on the bottom left i am really um using a lot of different angles just to try to understand what's going on because it's really difficult to get like you know figure out the building structure itself because there's really no reference it's just pictures that we have so i really needed to know um how things scale relative to the other so I don't build something that begins to look like a miniature. So these are some embellishments that I'm creating and all I'm just using is um, basic shapes and just trying to get through the whole thing. I'm, I did this in like, I did this in a little over four hours, not what I was aiming for, I was aiming for two hours, but man, I, it, was, it was something that was kind of unreachable. I'm sure if I did it like one of I'll be able to do it in two hours, but nah. So right here, I was doing the pillars. The pillar structure is something that holds a lot of identity in this building. Most of the time we associate the identity of this building to maybe the clock or the middle tower. But the pillar is something that we really don't pay close attention to. 
but then that is something that makes us really identify the building i I really needed to nail you know nail the pillar right there um for the pillar there are some of them that are the same height and there are some that different height so i needed to know which one i'll do alt d4 alt d that's on duplicating an instance without it like weighing on your memory and then shift d duplicates and makes the new mesh an entirely different entity of its own right so i was you know bopping between between those two As you can see, there are a lot of repeat elements in these things. Like even in the pillar itself, you would see that this structure I'm using to cut out um, a lot of the windows and a lot of the um, detail in the in the pillar, you would see that it repeats a lot. Even the entrance door has the shape. And if you look at the beginning, to get this shape was really helpful for me. Like as simple as it is, it was, I don't know, a lot of, um, neoclassical buildings there are entrances or doorways are usually just cylindrical or circular at the top and then you just extrude a flat base at zero but this it wasn't just cylindrical at the top and trust me i i thank god that i did those first two because figuring this out on the fly would have been really really difficult Right here, apart from the main entrance, there are all these, um, I don't know if I should call them small entrance, but they are like um, alternative entrances to the building and they have the same profile, bevel profile as, you know, the entrance itself. So all I needed to do was to create, duplicate that base entrance that I've created and just use that to create all those alternative entrance and there's a lot of copy and paste here. A lot. This cross, it looks simple, but when you get down to start doing it, man, it was difficult. If you rewind and try to go and look at it, you will see that, man, it wasn't the same. I just did something that was close to what it looks like and I just get it done with. So like for those pillars, you will know that those pillars are really similar. So for things like that, I used Alt D and not Shift D, Alt D, so that when I edit one, I'm able to make sure that it affects the others. So those embellishments up there, I did it for the clock tower. The clock tower is the middle sphere. That's the one that is at the center of the building, almost like the epicenter of the building, right? Those embellishments that I did up there, I just duplicated that because that is what was repeated around the edges of the building. They were used to as, as decoration. So since I created before, I just duplicated that easy. I think another instance where I actually saw this building a lot was when I was working on the island, right? I I worked on the island for, for a bit and this was when I was seconded to another company, right? So most of the time I leave Festac, um, go to Apapa, get a boat and from there I get to the island. 
But when I'm coming back in the evening, most of the times there is no boat. So I really have to um, use public transport. That's another time that I've seen this building a lot. Like you see these things a lot, you don't take note of it. But now that I want to model it, I won't actually have a very vivid memory of it. But I know that, you know, I see this building a lot. Something I think I'm contemplating is I think I want to put this out. I know I'll create one more render with this, but then something I would really want to do is probably put it out for free on CD Trader. I don't know about that yet, but yeah, I, it's something I, I want to do. There, there are probably VFX artists that, that might need this, so yeah, I, I should put it out on CD Trader. So right here, I was I was kind of done with modeling and I was on to the fun part. That is the texturing. If you notice, you will see that there is a lot of duplicate mesh. That's why some of those things are black. So I kind of deleted the mesh first before I went on to figure out the colors of these things. The texturing is the fun part because that's when the entire structure starts coming together. It starts looking like the actual structure. So I really needed to nail, nail the color for it to actually look like the original one. I wish I can actually be there to see the color for what it is because a lot of the references I have, they actually have different color due to the different exposure, the different light of day, the different sky, overcast I will have. So there was nothing concrete I could actually hold on to. So I was, I just tried to figure out the middle ground for where I could, you know, just have something that I am okay with. I think I UV unwrapped, but it's not like a clean, holistic UV unwrap. It's a really tacky, um, what did I do? I did smart UV project and just used that to get the scale of the concrete textures. So apart from the obvious white color of the bevel profile, there are also some elements in between that are like white also. So you really need to pay attention to these things and like know which one is white, which one is the other color, you know? Something I probably need to do is to bevel these edges. If you pay close attention, these things are really, really sharp. There is no element of structure that is this sharp. So I think maybe after the fact I should create some more bevels. Maybe I'll create it with a shader. I'm not really sure, but I don't like how sharp it's looking right now. So that's about it for the texturing. I went on to setting up my camera just to to get it good rendered shot. Um, something I'm probably doing also is to create a sky texture that makes the color actually pop because the sky determines how that color looks faded or tinted and stuff like that. 
so that's about it for this and i just rendered and that's it so that's it guys so long and until i see you in the next one peace